Hello and welcome back to your favorite emperor who is playing the powder toy. Let's go ahead and see what you guys suggested on Valor. Uh, Spike should make a living. I've already, I've already done that. Thank you for linking the video though. Powder and stuff and nuclear weapons. I guess nuclear weapons it is. Today we are using the mod that we used last time. Which one is it? Crackers mod, I believe. Uh, so let's let's play around a little bit. There's so much stuff in this mod. I, I think I'm just gonna make a radioactive stew. That's right. We're gonna make a radioactive stew. Mmm, yummy in the tummy. I haven't played with a lot of anti-protons. Annihilates on contact with regular matter. All right. So that that cannot be contained effectively. Uh, anti-hydrogen. Annihilates ordinary matter as well. Ooh! 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 Wow. I wonder what would happen if I filled a building with that. <laughs> Let's just fill a building with it! Wh why, what don't you understand? <clears throat> I mean, generally we have like a bunker, or Bunker City is one of my favorite testing maps. Um, where is it? Nope, that's not it. Where's Bunker City? Bunker City, are you gone? Oh, there you are. There you are. My sweet dear. Alright. <clears throat> what happens if I fill the bank with anti-hydrogen? Whoa! Alright, that was, that was pretty dramatic. Um... Very nice. So then there's radon. Decays with slow, hot neutrons. You do not want radon to be filling your building. Fun fact. Is it gonna warm up the building? Maybe a little bit. Building's just full of neutrons now, but it's fine! It's light, light radiation. Working at a bank will make you feel like you're dead anyways, so does it really matter? Um, then we have ions. Used for quantum co there's quantum computing in this. Of course there's quantum computing in this. It only makes sense. Uh, there's ball lightning, macro electron, releases energy onto its C-type. <clears throat> we have all the normal things. I know that plutonium and stuff has been changed. Carolinium, used to create long burning dark fire bombs, explodes in layers. Alright, let's just get some of that in here. Literally no clue what's going to happen with that. Uh, polonium... We can get some polonium in here, and then uh, we'll just do a core of plutonium. All right. I think I think we've got it now. We've got the perfect mixture. There's just neutrons flying out the windows, bouncing around the entire town. I guess the plutonium that wasn't enough. All right, we'll do a larger core of plutonium. All right. Is that better? I mean, the radon should be just creating, like, an unlimited amount of neutrons that are going to react. <sighs> Getting a little bit of leakage of plutonium. That's fine, though. A little bit of plutonium falls on you. It's going to be fine. Won't ruin your day. Uh, you know, the pressure is just too low in this building. So let's just say someone kicked on the AC unit. Oh. Oh. The AC has been kicked on. Oh, oh, oh! Yikes! Oh, wow. This, uh, DFLM is going absolutely insane. I guess that's what the Carolinium is becoming. Dark Flame. Ooh, that's nasty. It's doing a lot of damage. Look at it go! Does it just burn everything? I think Dark Flame burns, burns literally everything in the game. Oh, it's just eating everything. Well, well, well. Looks like we've found a new way to destroy our enemies. That makes me want to uh, find a nice ship. One moment. Uh, where's, where's my favorite one? 
Ooh, this one's an invincible. Ah, the Vengeance class. This is my favorite. This is 100% my favorite. All right. So if we turn off the detail layer, uh, let's see what happens if we hit this bad boy with a tiny bit of Carolinium. Actually, we'll just we'll just grab the dark flame. I mean, it's already here. Slow burning, but difficult to extinguish flames. Consumes all. All right. Is it really slow burning though? It is absolutely tearing through the entire ship. Okay, let's see if we can save the ship with uh. Oh no! Without gravity, the water won't go anywhere. Uh, quickly! Oh my God! The water just moved it. The water pressure is just, the vapor is pushing it all over the place and spreading the fire. Can you even put it out? Oh my god! There is no putting it out! Difficult to put out? No, impossible! It's burning the water! What? Uh, how, how, how would one even manage? Alright, let's see if I can get rid of it using acid. Like, can I, can I dissolve, can I dissolve the fire? The answer is it's working better than the water it did, but I don't know if it's actually destroying it. Oh, it just caught on normal fire. Is there any way to stop dark flame? This is very interesting stuff. Okay. I'm- I'm- I am- I am now in a real... Real situation where I want to know if you can stop Dark Flame. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use explosives. Um, Bomb may be able to take it out. Alright, ready? Gonna like a little bit of head start and then BOOM! Oh yeah! Look at that! So it's a little bit of a suicidal method of getting rid of it because obviously uh, you are going to have several hull breaches because, I mean, you're using bombs, but the bombs are actually effective. Um, and on a larger ship, I think that it it kind of makes sense as a defense mechanism to just blow it up. <laughs> uh, the amount of damage the Dark Flame will do is pretty much unlimited, so... Like, if it's gonna eat your ship, you might as well just... Oh god, oh! The amount of explosives that were required! Lost the entire front section of the ship there. But, you will notice, there is still a ship left. And large portions of the ship, which are not currently on fire, survived. And uh, I think it's actually calmed down now. I, I think it's stabilized. So yeah. Alright, maybe we'll use spaceships for our testing from now on. They're just so much fun! Used to create long burning dark fire bombs. I wonder how this stuff actually works though. It's like, it's, it's used to make bombs. Is it neutrons that set it off? No. No, is it just fire that sets it off? Protons, nope. Uh, we will just you do this the old-fashioned way. We'll set it off with TNT. A little bit of fire. No. So what sets- oh no, it's doing something. It is, it is definitely doing something. Do you see the, oh, oh! Oh, that was neat. Oh my God, the amount of heat it let out. Actually caused some things on the ship to catch on fire. Okay, we're, we're gonna try that again. That was really interesting. Um, Carolinium. We're gonna use a bigger ball of it this time, and we're gonna set it off from a smaller internal compartment, which this time we're gonna fill with TNT. All right, let's see what happens. I wanna turn our... Let's look at that pressure display. Look at the 
the waves of pressure it's sending out. Wow! As each layer of it combusts, look at that insane amount of pressure. 30! That's at 30 pressure being thrown out. Holy moly, it's actually damaging the outside of the ship just with the pressure. Granted, none of the dark flame ended up hitting it because of the amount of pressure buildup prevented it from flying out at it. But man, that is an incredible amount of pressure. So we've also got some other new things in here. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things to play with in here. I saw a few that I was interested in, though. Um, a few moments ago in that explosive section, Napalm. Ultra long burning explosive. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get a little bit of a test out of Napalm. It's not going to work on a ship. That's not really what Napalm is meant for. Well, let's go back over to that Bunker City. Alright, Bunker City... And uh, let's turn the render mode on to fancy so everything looks nice. And turn on decorations. Alright, we're gonna drop napalm on the diner area. Wait, what? Oh! I'm, I'm shocked. I thought it was gonna fall, but it kind of just stayed in the air and then, yeah... Just, just a literal, a, a blanket of fire. And the thing about napalm is it just sticks and it just keeps... Actually, I expected it to be a little bit more dramatic. Maybe I shouldn't have burned it first. Maybe I should have dropped it and then... What is up with that? Yeah, it, it sticks. It's very light and it looks like it just sticks. So somewhat realistic. I think I accidentally made it not very effective. Okay, now if I light it on fire... Ooh! Yeah, that's, that is a lot of fire. And it does burn for a long time compared to other explosives. Still, it's nothing compared to the nuclear things we've got, but definitely fun to play with. We have cesium, liquid cesium, uh, experimental explosives, C6. Oh my god, phosphorus. Oh, now we can properly commit war crimes. Oh, that, that got set off by me doing literally nothing. Pretty, but terrifying. Pretty, but terrifying. Oh, well, well. We've got a whole lot of new things to add to our powder toy arsenal now. We haven't even looked at half of the things in this mod. Alright, let's time to end this off. Alright, let's 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 design a, a bomb. So, we'll have carolinium on a shell on the outside. And then we will have a plutonium core. Which will get set off by... Oh, I forgot to pause. Whoops. Which will get set off by a bunch of deuterium. Of which we will set life... Do 1,000. Uh... Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't- I don't remember. Oh, no, you have to do- okay, you gotta do the estimator. Set life. Do... Yeah! Alright. Let's see how this goes. Um couple of neutrons to get it started and we're just going to increase the pressure so that the nuclear reaction can take po oh boy oh boy oh boy okay so we get that immediate ray of 
neutrons that fly out through the Carolinium, actually. That's going to be the first wave of radiation and damage. Uh, but then we're getting this secondary blast that's actually escaping. And this is hot stuff. It is at stupid degrees. And by stupid, I mean over 4,000 degrees Celsius. And I do believe I'm seeing some of that dark flame come out of this as well. I mean, there's a whole lot of purple fusion going on, so it's hard to tell, but we'll see what happens to the bunker. That is definitely dark flame. It's ripping right through the bunker. And for the first time in a long time, a very simple bomb is able to take out the entire bunker city. Wow. Well guys, I do suggest you check out the mod if you're interested in where you can go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and put a link in Valor, uh, Valor.gg, you guys should go check it out, it's in the description, it's the chat platform I am developing. But, we can just look up uh, Powder Toy Mods, and over in the mod collection, you should be able to find right here, Cracker 1000's mod, and uh... I'll paste it in here so that you guys can grab it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm going to go hop onto the Minecraft server, which, if you're interested in, you can go find in Minecraft on the Valor. Peace out. And goodbye.